The Asagi vs. Kaiser battle is heating up with both of them having scored one goal in their match against PXG. Let's put my glazing to the test and give a totally non-biased opinion about them FIFA 24 card style. Let's start with their pace. I don't know about you, but when Asagi came to Blue Lock, his pace was kinda average for the most part. But when he's into his flow state, he's about to go crazy on everyone. Even Chigiri is no match for bro when he's got his sights on the goal, like the man is on business. At the start of the Neo Ego league when the egoists were thrown into training. We've seen just how average his pace is as his endurance was absolutely garbage, which is why he goes crazy on a good day. However, he's been improving on that throughout the Neo Egoist League, but I'm still not satisfied. Kaiser, on the other hand, had crazy stats from the beginning after Isagi realized he was not him. He was on top of the leaderboard as well, and it was immediately established that Isagi had to overcome this monster. His interaction with Chris Prince when Bastard Munchen was playing against Man Manshine City further solidified that bro has those hyena legs, as Chris Prince is literally known for having the perfect body. The first point easily goes to Kaiser. Consider leaving a like and sub if you resonate with the video so far. Let's continue with their shooting. I was practically waiting for this moment to happen so that I could make this exact video cause someone has to glaze Kaiser, but we leave that on the side for now as Isagi is the first one to take the spotlight. At the start of Blue Lock Bro was rocking them direct shots and pulling them out like Pokemon balls, which made them way too predictable. Then he pulled off a back heel shot through pressure. After that, he was improving upon his direct shots, but nobody was ready for what happened next. Bro pulled out a lefty direct shot. <laughs> But this is not even close to his best performance, which came in the PXG match when he humbled everyone. Hiori got his pass locked in, and when he finally received the ball instead for going for a boring direct shot, he shuffled his leg over the ball like Russian roulette, but in Brazil, and rammed the ball into the net. Just look at their faces, man. Kaiser was always crazy with his shooting from the very start of the Neo Egoist League. The craziest angle he ever pulled to this day was his goal in Chapter 220, when he literally used used RU as a trampoline, twisted Sendo's ankles, flew away to heaven, and shot the ball in the most nasty way through Aiku's leg into the net. Aiku literally got so embarrassed that he caught insomnia for a straight week after that match. In Bastard Munchen, their match after Isagi's goal, the inevitable happened as Kaiser went through an awakening and got the ball from Kiora. His technique is crazy, and Kaiser's technique too, which is too much of a hassle to explain, but essentially the ball stopped at the right place, and Kaiser kicked it at an angle. This resulted in the ball spinning like crazy as he scored the goal. Deciding who wins this one is probably the most difficult one yet, but I gotta give it to Kaiser, like, come on, man. Trying to rate their passing is kinda boring, but let's run it through real quick. I mean, they both just like passing the ball around. Kaiser liked to do it with Ness all the time, and Isagi liked to do it with Hiyori, Corona, and Bachira all the time. They both have quite a lot of people in their arsenal, so I guess I'll give one point to both of them. Dribbling is a bit more interesting, though. Isagi's best combinations have been with Corona and Hiori by a mile. With Corona, he's done the Planet Hotline since their match against Manshine City, and with Hiori, he pulls the craziest stuff like the no-look speeding past everyone direct shot. It was almost like they were bonded through divine energy, although Shidu replicated the same thing with Charles, so it's not as special anymore, but still significant. In Chapter 212, Isagi was piercing through the field with Corona using their planet hotline. Yukimiya tried to steal the ball, but he suddenly came to a halt and dashed past Yukimiya and Drago. They were passing around the moor, and Isagi was going in between Nico and Aiku, which shows his exceptional off-the-ball movements, which are very important in football as well. After this, he got the ball and shot it in with his lefty direct shot. As for Kaiser, I haven't seen too many interesting dribble combos. Combinations. And the worst off all is the fact that they don't even have a name for when they dribble like Isagi's Planet Hotline, which is beyond crazy considering how much they've linked up on and off screen. All jokes aside, in chapter 162, we start to see Kaiser his chemistry with Ness as he passed to Ness. Kaiser's off-the-ball movements are pretty good too, 
as he can easily go anywhere on the field with the aid of his physical abilities. Ness is quite the magician, as well as he sees a lot of options for Kaiser and passes to him with precision. After this, he uses his hand to keep Bachira at bay and scores a goal. He has been going crazy recently, though, as he passed the ball to Raichi and stopped glazing Ness. He used Kunigami, too, and at the end, Ness still decided to it was a smart idea to stay Kaiser's dog. Are you serious right now, bro? Like, do I? Like, bro, stop trying to be speed. Bitch, don't be speed. Bro, stop. He even got Kiora Jin to notice him, and that was because Kiora noticed him too. So, I'll give this point to Asagi, because I think it's glazing time and his passes just look more visually appealing. Not gonna lie. Well, if you thought that I won't be mentioning defense in this video, you're horribly wrong because I am mentioning it. Isagi made some dope saves like Chris Prince, his unpredictable knuckleball which got shut down through Isagi's rationality and Gagamaru's trust in his instructions. Isagi and Kaiser have also made a save together which is Baru's shot, and I find that super cute. They've made multiple attempts at that as well, which further solidifies their bond as a married gay couple. Anyways, I'm giving this point to Asagi, because his saves are just fresher in my mind. Let's continue with their physicality. Isagi's physicality is known to be kind of mid, just like his passes. The first reason is that he's not built like Kunigami and is not as tall as Itoshi Rin. The reason he's in the foreground is because of other abilities anyways. Although Isagi has clearly improved his core stability in the Neo Egoist League, because the way Itoshi Sai tapped him out like that in the U20 match is crazy. He knows the trick but he also knew that it is a fundamental weakness. He's still not built like a crazy lad, but I guess it does the job for now. Kaiser's physicality is just crazy, bro. The only visuals you'd need to know that this man is on his game is when he faced off against Chris Prince and literally had a head-to-head -head confrontation and won. Their backs literally clashed and Kaiser managed to keep his ground, which is why this point goes to Kaiser. It's time for the bonus round now. Since it's a fictional story, Vision has to be included. Smack that thing on the FIFA cards as well in FIFA 25. The only special eye that Asagi has gotten right now is Meta Vision. But don't let this slightly negative presentation fool you as it is an extremely potent weapon for Mortal Kombat. In case you live under a rock in Chapter 182, Isagi explains that Kaiser is constantly gaining new information through his peripheral vision, which is anything outside of your direct vision, which is how he gets a four-dimensional vision that looks over everyone on the field. Let me give you a demonstration of what this looks like from Isagi's perspective. Agi is running in the back if the defense breaks their Done for. He hasn't passed yet, but Bastard's formation might break if they don't do something. Yukimiya should try to restrict their space. Nagi is stepping back. There's so much information coming into Isagi, and from the point where Isagi learned how to use it consciously, he was using it in basically every major play he had and every goal he scored. Going through all of them will take a lot of time. Kaiser has MetaVision as well, and it does what you'd imagine it to do, scanning out the field and stuff. I do think that Isagi's MetaVision is more powerful right now, because of his IQ, but we'll get to that later. The thing we should be more interested in right now is the Predator Eye. We see exactly what it does in Chapter 1 to 81, as he's literally combining his Predator Eye with MetaVision in the same play. Chigiri, Rayo, and some others tried to block his shot course, but that was when he enabled the Predator Eye and shot in between three players. The ball landed perfectly in the left upper corner as well through his Kaiser impact. In other words, the Predator Eye is the complete opposite of MetaVision. Instead of expanding his vision, Kaiser drastically narrows it down in order to score a goal. He tries to find the smallest of gaps for a shot course, and that's extremely overpowered. He recently got his mentality straight as well, so the more he matures, the better his already existing weapons will perform. Because of this, the next point just has to go to Kaiser. Watch this video next where I talk about the reason Isagi vs. Rin isn't close.